Hey there, Wasteland. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Last video, we woke up with Doc Mitchell and tested ourselves on the Vigor Tester. I tried to measure my charisma on a Vitomatic Vigor Tester once. The machine burst into flames. Can, can someone figure out how to keep getting it here? Oh. Please? Anyways, we left off at the end of the tutorial with the ever so beautiful Sunny Smile. Today we're going to start by talking to Trudy and seeing where we go from there. If you like this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, and always make sure to ring those bell notifications. Now, into the wasteland. Alright, now we're going to go talk to Trudy. And we'll talk to Easy Pete Howdy. first. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Why are you called Easy Pete? was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You were a prospector, like, digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never liked the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's... what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long, not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. What's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. What do you use the big corners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Goodbye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Alright, we're gonna make our way inside. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, we're gonna get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. That looks like a duck. 
Evening. Hey, Mama Trudy, what's up? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. All right, I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Stay Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gang? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Never mind. I want to... I want to talk about something else. All right. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So, I help Ringo, and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the powder gangers? Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you can get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Who is the man that you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chain. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So, where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Want me to take a look at that broken radio for you? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Do you know the robot that rescued me? Do you know the Muffin Man? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been in good store? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind. Let's, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Does Good Springs get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hide. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. The biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam.
Tell me about the NCR. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Why do you think the NCR and Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. All right. Uh, Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Yeah, Trudy just kind of sells like what you would normally see in any saloon. So it's just a lot of your vodka, whiskey. We're actually going to grab these whiskeys, because those are going to come in handy later. And we're going to grab this Salesman Weekly, this Meeting People, and this Fixing thing. Uh -uh. But we are going to give her. I am never going to use these. It is these throwing spears that I get from the DLC that comes with the spears in this game that I don't put in. Um, Pleasure doing business with you. Be careful out there. Hi. Hi. Alright, we leveled up through that, so we are going to put good amount of this through my speech so I can bring that up to 30. We're going to throw three of that into my barter. And I'm going to toss the last two into my explosives. And we're going to get intense training, which gives us one more to add into our attributes. And I'm going to put that into strength so we can carry more right now. Um, yeah. Alright, now I am going to go into here. Now, if we hadn't have already bought them, like a good civilian, all of those magazines that we just bought out of Trudy's inventory would show up here on top of this crate. Now, you can also, if your lockpick is high enough, which is 75, you can unlock this. However, if not, we can, of course, open this and hack into it. Milling. So it's none of the ING, none of the EL. If you are actually in a terminal that you can't crack at the moment and you just hit, um, the power off button on the third try then you can actually just go back and it'll give you four more sorry I don't know why that just took so long for my brain to come out there we go I got it I know what I'm doing Disengage that lock. Now we can open this. However, I'm going to go back because I didn't make sure nobody could see me. You can either check or you can just go down and then when you crouch, it's going to tell you if you're hidden or not. So I'm going to take the stem pipes out of here and all of that. I'm going to exit now. You'll lose a little bit of karma, but it's really not that much. All right. Now we are going to go talk to Ringo up to the gas station. Oh, Sonny made it back. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. 
off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. I'm a little short on cabs. I don't suppose there's any work to do. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmith? The lock's too much for you to handle. Reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Actually, I already prepped. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. What do you do around here? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Do you, do you need somebody to, to lay with you in the nights grow cold? Because I'll do that. I would do that for you. Anyways, let's talk about the areas around good springs. Sure. What do you want to know? What other towns are nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. NCR? The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. What does the NCR keep you safe from? Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. What do you know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. What kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. Coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. Critters up there are big and poisonous. That's all I wanted to know. Let's talk about... If you want to know anything else, just ask. All right. Madame, as always, it has been a pleasure to speak with you. We will talk later. Probably not. Oh, wait, no. I definitely need you for this quest. So, yes. I will be seeing your beautiful sister. Until next time. Oh, you know it. Okay. Onward in a change. We're gonna make our way up to the gas station real quick. I wonder. So I know you can go into all of the houses in Good Springs. Yeah, no, you can't take things from all of the houses. I don't even know if there's stuff worth taking into these houses. It just looks like a bunch of fruits and veggies. Ooh. Ammo. I'm, I'm taking your taking your ammo. It but it'll let me take the one sunset sarsaparilla. Star bottle cap. Is it just because it's the star bottle cap? And it's not stealing? I find that to be bullshit. If you like my phone. That's close enough. Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the guns. 
You just caught me off guard, that's all. Got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Did you know there's a man named Joe Cloud looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about the powder grain? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. Mm. You need a hired gun? I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. It'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. No. Some of the other people in town were also on board. I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Alright, you can actually also take all of the stuff in here. Um. I grabbed a few things. Hello. Die. Oh shit. All right. Let's do this one again, guys. I for That's I didn't even notice enough. that that was red. But it is. We can't take. It. Let me pick it up. Let me get just one more guy. And he will be none the wiser. Right, that's really all that's like important in here that I really care to take right now. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Sonny again. Actually, it's gonna be easier to just. Sometimes it's just faster to fast travel. Hello. Honestly. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while? Uh, as long as you're here. I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, He'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. All right, we'll talk later. I'll be waiting. So first, Trudy's right here. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. All right, you should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosion, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. All right, Trudy, we'll, we'll round up Be later. careful out there. 
Alright, we're gonna head up to Doc Mitchell's house. I don't know if I have enough for him. So I forget if I need science or medicine. I think I can get use either or, so we'll go and try. Um, come in, die. Where are you? Dr. Mitchell, are you asleep? No, you're right there. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. You said before you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. What... what town is this? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Alright, what else can you tell me about Good Springs? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Could you give me a rundown on Good Springs one more time? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. If you're looking to wet your whist... Alright. Who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. It's just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Alright, do you know anything about the man that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Alright. Let's see what sure. medical supplies I can get real quick. Uh, I am taking all of your stuff bags. And this. And this. You can have these binoculars, this laser pistol. Honestly, I'm not going to use this. Dude.
Okay, fine. Fine. real quick. That won't take long either. We should be able to get all of this done relatively quickly here. You looking to buy some supplies? Not right now. I need supplies to fight the powder gangers though. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Let's take them over. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, yeah, you selfish prick. What do you know about the situation with the Powder Gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself... Don't mistake that for Cower Talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Alright. We'll see you later, buddy. Alright, now... I think the last person we need is Pete. I didn't see a dot pad, what I needed or not. How are you holding up? Honestly, we could do this without Pete. So, right now, unfortunately, we're just gonna do it without Pete. Hey there. Because I am not, I'm not putting you guys through that. I'll start the meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. Until next time. Oh.
So all we're doing right here is we're going up to talk to Ringo and tell him that we're ready. My audio actually had a malfunction right here, so I had to take out all of the audio that goes between here and the end. Um, all that we really do in this section is we go up and we tell Ringo that we're ready. Sonny comes in and says, let's do this. And then we walk out, and from there I do actually have audio, because I re-recorded the end. But you're just going to get this awkward silent bit right here, so I'm, I apologize about that. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure I have the weapon I want. Come on, you bastards! Ain't that a fucking kick in the head? a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Alrighty. Thanks again for all your help. That's... It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll All right, so this is why deck, I wanted to so talk to him about this, is because you can actually get so, um, a free deck of cards, like so that way you can play Caravan. Uh, I don't have time for that right, right now. And then, yeah. we already know everything about Good Springs, we really need to know, so. Let's go make sure everybody made it out okay. Howdy. All right, there's Trudy and Sunny. I'm talk. glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Alright. That's all Be she has to say there. right now. And then later, if you need to, you can go to her and she'll give you a discount at the store. Howdy. We're actually going to go in here and fix her radio real quick before we finish up this video. And then wait for her to come back in the morning. Repair the radio. Yeah. Alright. Now we're going to wait. It's 11 p.m., so we only really need to wait like, I think, nine hours. I usually just wait till about 8 o'clock in the morning, and normally everybody's back wherever they should be most of the Hello? time. Whoop, there's, there's Ringo again. Where's. 
Hmm. All right, let's try this again. There she is. There's Mama Truths. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Oh, I bet you can, ma'am. I bet you can. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. That's it? Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? All right, show me what you have for sale. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. But yeah, you can still find the same things that you would find before from Trudy. Um, I'm not really going to buy anything right now, but if you notice, it's actually all a little bit cheaper. All right. And that about does it for this video, guys. Be careful out there. Um, in the next one, we're going to be heading over to Prem. So... We'll see you then. Oh, that's that'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Until All right. I bid you adieu, my dear. Until next time, I have to wander out into this vast, vast wasteland. All right, guys. We'll talk later. Thanks for being here. Oop. Oop. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. Almost we get him a little early. Right Name's Mal. I don't think I've ever gotten him this early in this game. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. So you collect... Oh god, guys, I'm sorry. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. All right, where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps and in the And guys, I really apologize if you hear my dogs barking outside. I can't really do anything about that at the moment. You mentioned some man named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Okay, that should fix the dog barking problem. What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's buddy, killed several people buddy, you for should this probably watch out for me. Because, yeah, you're not making it out here. Yep. Oh, yeah, you don't collect them, huh? 
Alright. Alright guys, right now I'm just going to make sure that I'm ready for the next video, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!